Rusty Dance is from Mekar Sari Group. So please put your hand together for Mekar Sari Group. Thank you. Your Excellency, the Secretary General of ASEAN, Dr. Surin Bitsuan, Excellencies, Ambassadors of ASEAN countries and friendly countries, Vice Chairman of Board of Trustee of the Indonesian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Kadin, Mr. Sofian Wanandi, Honorable Chairman of the ASEAN Business Advisory Council, Mr. Ananga Rustiono, Distinguished ASEAN Business Advisory Council, Delegates and Participants, Ladies and Gentlemen. A very good evening and welcome to the Nusa Indah Hall of the BICC right here in the beautiful Paradise Island of Bali. Welcome to the Asian Business and Investment Summit Gala Dinner, hosted by the Asian Business Advisory Council. We hope that the first day of the Asian Business and Investment Summit, ABIS 2011, has so far repeat fruitful benefits. And to start this wonderful evening, welcome remarks by the Chairman of ASEAN Business Advisory Council, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ananga Rustiono. His Excellency Dr. Surin Pitsuan, Secretary General of ASEAN, Excellencies, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, I would like to welcome you here tonight to celebrate the gala dinner of our summit and the presentation of the ASEAN Business Awards to our most admired enterprises in ASEAN. This will be followed after dinner by an address by His Excellency Dr. Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, President of the Republic Indonesia and the Chairman of the ASEAN Leaders Summit, and a keynote speech by His Excellency Mr. Lee Myung Bak, President of the Republic of Korea. The ASEAN Business Awards are now an important part of the ASEAN calendar. The awards enable us to showcase globally competitive grown ASEAN business, which are role models for aspiring ASEAN companies. ASEAN BAC has agreed to collaborate with the ASEAN SME Working Group to give more opportunity to participate in the ASEAN Business Award. The collaboration has allowed Asian Business Award to attract large numbers of SMEs and allow ASEAN BAC to strengthen cooperation with national agencies. We have separate categories for both large companies and SMEs innovations, growth, employment, and corporate social responsibility. We are particularly proud to share the spotlight on SMEs in the awards because MS SMEs make up the vast majority of our business in ASEAN. One of our major goals in the emerging ASEAN economic community is to promote an environment where SMEs can grow and become confident and competitive players. I would like to thank all the companies across ASEAN who have nominated for the award. Through the help of Ernst & Young, the strategic partner for 2011 ASEAN Business Award, we have attracted participants of more than 50 companies, both large and small, medium size. The nominees go through a rigorous selection process. The company judged by a panel of judges amended by each, recommended by each national gateway of each country. We are very grateful to our distinguished panel of judges comprising top business leaders economists and academics from ASEAN countries and to our strategic partner for the award this year, Ernst and Young, who has taken a close expert look at each of these companies in the selection process. We will shortly be asking Mr. Giuseppe Nicolosi, the CEO of Ernst and Young Indonesia, to make the announcement of the winner and the runner-ups in each category. 
Finally, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the ASEAN Business Advisory Council, let me thank thanks for coming to this important occasion this evening and celebrating the successful of some of our most admired enterprises. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ananga. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now follow the remarks by the Secretary General of ASEAN. Please welcome Dr. Surin Bitswan. Malam. Mr. Ananga Rusdiono, Chairman of ASEAN Business Advisory Council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me say how delighted I am on behalf of ASEAN to welcome all of you to this very important event, the gala dinner of the 2011 ASEAN Business and Investment Summit. I love to welcome you to this kind of dinner because I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> and it is a standard operating procedures for ASEAN that if you don't have to pay, don't. And it is my practice from the beginning of assuming this position that I would like to do what I call a network secretariat. Simply put, I would go and attend gatherings like this. You have your annual events. You pay for them. I can deliver my ASEAN message. But this event has become a traditional part of the ASEAN leaders meeting or our summit because you have been having it since 2004 and you have been contributing your ideas, your wisdom, your experiences to the process of deliberation of our leaders. I have just informed them at the summit this afternoon that we will have to open our processes and our deliberations to let all the stakeholders on the landscape of ASEAN to come in to take ownership of, to participate and to make their positive constructive contributions into the ASEAN work. Ten economies, 600 million people, two trillion combined GDP, opening space for investment for you and for foreign investors coming into our region. We need to work together. Leaders, diplomats, ministers, a secretary general cannot accomplish what we have set out to accomplish. One integrated market, one investment area, competitive, equitable, and able 
to integrate into the global economic system. This year, our forum has attracted two more very important partners into the group, Russia and the United States of America. And I have shared my concern with the leaders that with all this attention, with all these interests, with all this desire to be our partners, we also have to be prepared for the challenge. And that challenge is our stewardship, our centrality, and our leadership of this forum. We cannot deny the interest, the attention, the desire to participate. We should welcome it. This region, sitting in the middle of the most vibrant economic dynamism in the world today. And this particular forum is important to demonstrate to the world that more than just talking about rules, about regulations, about norms, we are also talking about real business and real investment. We have become much more important and critical to the global community than 10 years ago, than even five years ago. I was with the President of the Republic of Indonesia, Chair of ASEAN, at the G20 summit in Cannes, France. And the President, as Chair of ASEAN, refused to let the issue of the sovereign debt in the Eurozone to dominate that forum, which was supposed to be a global forum. He insisted that our agenda, our activities, our priorities, development, investment, equitable de development, and sustainable development, peace and security, stability will also have to be part of the deliberation of the G20 summit. And ladies and gentlemen, they listened to him. As the only one ASEAN in the G20, representing ASEAN as chair of the G20. So this year has been most eventful for ASEAN. This year has been most productive for ASEAN. We are creating our community. We are also thinking and aspiring to be a constructive, contributing, and productive members of the global community, ASEAN community in a global community of nations. But what we need for the people, what we need to demonstrate to the world is what you are doing. Inviting business in, inviting investment in, and make sure that the rules and the regulations, the barriers that have been brought down are also for you, not only for those who come from afar. Last year, I have a statistics, 2010, about 78 billion US dollars FDI came into ASEAN, double the same figure of the year 2009. How to keep that number up? How to make sure that our own SMEs, our own national companies, national level companies also invests in each other's economies, cross borders, because only through you, jobs will be created, prosperity will be achieved, and the quality of life of our people will be improved. Only 25% 
of all the trade that we do with the world and with each other, only 25% of about 2 trillion plus US dollars, only 25%, about $500,000 billion, represent the trade among us 10. We are talking about economic community by the year 2015. If we compare that figure with NAFTA, 48, 50% among and between Canada, the US, and Mexico. If we compare that figure with the EU, 68% among, among 27 of them. ASEAN has a lot of work to do. And believe me, the ministers can't do it. Believe me, our diplomats can't do it. It will have to be the business people of ASEAN, the private se sector of ASEAN. So this is a very, very important task and challenge before us all. I call upon all of you to please make your due contribution Pay attention to 600 million market, 2 trillion plus combined GDP, because the rest of the world is looking at this market with tremendous excitement. President Obama himself said, and you will hear him again tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, that East Asia, Southeast Asia have become more critical to the recovery of the U.S. own economy. He has been very, very realistic about us. So we should be happy. We should be satisfied, but at the same time, we should also be confident in ourselves. This house is being built for all of you and for all of us. And we want you to come in under this roof to help make it better, to help make it prosperous, and to help make it strong, stable, and to invite our guests from around the world to come in and share their technology, their management skills, their innovation, with us on this landscape because with that we will make a contribution not only to ourselves in the region not only to east asia but certainly to the global community as a whole tonight you will be honoring a few businesses that have been selected for the asean business awards and i know that there will be multinational enterprises and there will be small and medium sized enterprises there will be ASEAN businesses and there will be global businesses coming here this is a recognition a recognition of the good deeds that these companies have done in the past year and they have a good track record for you and for us to recognize. In doing good business, in doing best management governance of their corporations, corporate governance, in sustainability, and in corporate social responsibility. As you know, ASEAN aspires to be a caring and sharing society. The last two lines of our anthem, if you don't know it yet, we dare to dream and we care to share. I think all of you here dare to dream, and all of you, these businesses that are being recognized tonight, and they are those 
who are also doing similar things but have not yet been recognized, you also care to share. Congratulations and thank you very much for a very, very sumptuous dinner. Selamat malam. Thank you.